It is controversy in the debate over school sports this fall. Should athletes be required to wear masks? The governor thinks so, issuing an executive order mandating masks during practices and games this week. Our Grant Herms has been talking to coaches and players. Uh, Grant, masks are not new to sports, but new to youth sports. That's right. We've seen pro players wearing masks all summer long in baseball, but just back in June, the World Health Organization said that masks should be avoided during exercise because it could make people breathe a little less comfortably. And that comfort factor is what's at the heart of things out here on the field. And once again, youth players are in the middle of this controversy. Wait. All right, you got to get wide, all right? With fall sports back on track, go, 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 go. everyone is adjusting. I'll put that on right and readjusting to wearing masks while playing. This side, yeah. At Gross Point South, every team out practicing is still navigating the new challenges and not everyone is happy about it. I really think these masks cause more problems than they theoretically solve. Um, you know, we've got problems with mouthpieces. X-ray! I'm kind of uncomfortable, kind of hard to breathe. But, you know, we're willing to do it if that's what we have to do to play. But some parents say the governor has gone too far. In response to the mask mandate, members of the group Let Them Play, which pushed to have fall sports this year, started a petition calling the masks during play incredibly dangerous and want the order removed. The petition garnering more than 50,000 signatures. Today, the state's top doctor, Dr. Janae Caldoun, saying she understands parents' outrage, but says mask up or sit out. But for contact sports, it is recommended, given where we are with COVID-19 cases across the state, it is recommended to wear a mask. And if someone is unable to, then they may not be able to participate at this time. Now, just before that, our Rod Maloney asked the governor the science she was using to back up her mask order, but she declined to answer and said handed that off to Dr. Caldoun. Dr. Caldoun didn't give any specifics either. Back to you.